I believe I may have had an epiphany as it uh, pertains to what I enjoy about reading regarding hunting as opposed to the videos that are so popular nowadays. A hunting story put to text carries with it an honesty of a A to B to C to D process. A lot of times, especially on YouTube, this format that you're watching this podcast, it's it very much plays out like porn. Um, if you think about it, uh, think of a think of a good old Mike Waddell Sizzler, the Bone Collector. You get them like they're whispering into the camera, right? All right, here they come over the ridge. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tag him when when he comes across that ridge, and then and then that'll be it. So then you watch it play out, right? The animal comes across just as he predicts. Boom, he hits him just as he predicts. Boom, the animal falls within five feet of being struck. It's, 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 it's exactly like when you take a porno and the porno is, say, 20 minutes long and you just fast forward it to the, the parts of it that you like. It ends up being refined to almost this this perverse impact of of violence and sexuality. You go through all the other context. And that's the problem with porn as well. It's a it's an intimate process devoid of the intimacies that are associated with it. Devoid of the romance, the anticipation the denial. There's no denial in porn. Instead, there's the immediate gratification only afforded to the sociopathic lords of old. It's not how the world works. And in hunting, that's not how hunting works. Even for those people that manage to bag their absolute limit year after year after year and have these successes and are able to to look at the unskilled such as myself with this disdain of, oh, you call that hunting? They still have a process. They still have a refined process. And if you were to pin one of those people down and say, show me what you do start to finish, you will find a very intricate plan, a very brutal honesty of what works. That's what I'm digging about Renella. As a as a hunter, as an ambassador of our of our pursuit as hunters and and meat eaters is this willingness to be honest. Not trying to lie through omission, but just being honest. I dig it and I'm I'm feeling in a connection to it, although I'm I'm far from on his level. Um, I I dig the the level of inclusion that he has towards hunters and even non-hunters and bringing people into the pursuit. I I think it's great. I really do. And it's one person's effort to heal the soul. From this porn that's just shoved down our throats to sportsmen. I don't know. Just some thoughts for the day. Of course, I, I think uh, I'm able to wax a little poetic about this because I'm going to be hunting in three days' time from now. You know, <laughs> it changes your perspective too. Maybe that'll be part of tomorrow's dose. But today was today's dose. Hope you guys are getting better. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up.